Hey guys, so now we're gonna talk about um, some backing up exercises. Um, I personally believe that the backing up exercises are probably the some of the most important. I, it really gets a horse's respect. Um, backing up is not a natural thing for horses to do. So I feel like it really gets their attention. It really gets them thinking. And you can actually do a lot of advanced maneuvers with the backing exercises. And it also just gets them super soft and it gets them out of your space. A lot of horses are kind of all up in your grill. They want to be on top of you all the time. So it's important to, for them to know the difference between uh, your, person, your personal space and um, what I call your hula hoop space. So they need to know the difference of where is a comfortable place for them to stand. Um, you know, Cameron here, she's not super in my space. She's kind of standing here and just relaxing. She's not on top of me or biting me or anything, but I really like teaching them to back up um, for many reasons. So there's a couple different ways you can do it. Obviously there's just putting, applying pressure to the halter here. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take pressure and you're gonna push, pull straight back towards their chest. And there, she backed up. So I'm gonna rub and retreat. Now, your horse doesn't move off with the slightest amount of pressure. You can kind of bump on the halter here and make it uncomfortable for them and then release the pressure when they back up. Initially, when you do it, you only want a step or two. You don't have to, you know, back them a whole circle around the arena. So you just want to pick up. Good, she took a step. Rub and retreat. Pick up on the halter, pressure, good. Rub and retreat. So the lighter you pick up on the halter, the lighter their backup's gonna be. If you start right off the bat, just bumping on them and slamming them backwards, then they're never gonna get any lighter. They're only gonna be as light as you asked them to be initially. So I always like to use the two finger rule, which is it just in your mind, it doesn't give you a whole lot of, you know, you can't really put a whole lot of pressure with two fingers. So it keeps in your mind just to keep the lightest amount of pressure. And you can always increase if you need to. So that's one of the exercises that I like to teach. Today we're gonna teach Cameron um, the tapping the air method. So I'll go ahead and kind of walk you through it here. So you wanna stand about a stick's length from them. So about, you know, four or five feet away. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna tap the air for four counts, then you're gonna tap the string for four counts. And if they still don't move, then you're gonna whack the string. Um, so again, it's increasing the pressure until they respond and you always want to start with the lightest amount of pressure. So again, another important thing to remember is changing your body language. So right now I have pretty passive body language. She's relaxed, I'm relaxed. When I go to ask for the backup, I'm going to kind of increase my energy and it's going to almost just feed into her. So that's an, another important uh, thing to remember. So I'm going to kind of change my energy here. I'm going to tap the air. She's not going anywhere. Tap the string and I might whack the string. There. And it's not going to be very pretty to begin with. And again, we only want one step. So I'm going to tap the air. There. And she backed up. It doesn't have to be super energized right now. I just want to teach the concept. So I want them to learn that when they in see the increase in energy and um, they feel that bumping on their nose that that means to back up. So I'm going to tap the air, tap the string, there.
All right, so there's kind of the shortened version of the backup. Um, so I usually, this is another exercise I incorporate every day into my groundwork. Um, so down the road, I'll show you a couple of different um, backing exercises you can do. But for the most part, those are the two main ones that I like the best. So, you know, make sure you incorporate that into your training sessions every day. And let me know if you have any questions.